You know, the school board meeting here at East Lansing High School Monday night came along with a lot of parents expressing their fear and frustrations about violent incidents at the school in the past week. But district officials say they're hoping a plan about safety will ease some concerns of the parents. Take a look. A slew of recent violent incidents at East Lansing High School was the reason for a special board meeting Monday night that came along with parents not holding back their concerns. I got most of my information from my son, who is very scared and he's very uncomfortable about going to school. And that makes me feel uncomfortable bringing this to school. In the past two weeks, the high school has seen fights, a lockdown, student walkout, and a brawl at a basketball game. A weapon was actually reported in that incident. And a staff member reported seeing a gun fall out of one of students' belongings as they picked up their items to flee. District officials broke the ice at the school board meeting by announcing a draft of a safety plan for the high school. To develop a plan for immediate, short-term, and long-term safety enhancements for East Lansing High School. The immediate enhancements included things like reinforcing safety policies to students and only allowing students to enter the high school through one door. The short-term enhancements included things like beefing up supervision at sporting events and in hallways. And the long-term goals talked about including the community and local organizations who can create mentorships for East Lansing High School students to prevent violence from happening. We realize that uh, although it's used too often, it takes a village and we need help and support from other folks that are skilled in that and then we're open to arms for that help. The district is looking to finalize the draft of the safety plan, but before doing that, they want to hear from parents and students. Reporting here in East Lansing, I'm Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.